Okie dokie, everybody. Welcome back. You're here at the Fox Den with Peter Voss, the Papa Fox, and we're going to continue playing Pillars of Eternity by Obsidian Entertainment. When we last left off, we had used up all of our camping supplies. Kana is in a bad way with some bruised <laughs> ribs and a wrenched knee. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, we yes. used up a few of our spell slots. Um, hopefully yeah. we'll get a chance to... Uh, <laughs> rectify the situation soon but we uh oh yes there I we go mayor Ward's passing you slew him uh, he gave me no choice it saddens me to hear it but part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness mm -hmm. this place has always known its master long as it's had one it has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meowald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? Your stronghold is now available. You can manage your stronghold at any time through the castle icon. Yes! Uh, I actually really like this mechanic. Uh, there's a lot to uh, investigate, and I think we'll probably be doing a lot of that in this episode. Merwald said that I must go to the City of Defiance in search of the Queen. The energy seems to uh, seems all at once to drain from the air. I see. If it's Defiance Bay you seek, I'm sorry to tell you that you've come a long way for nothing. The Eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago, and Merwald never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before his mind became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to have it repaired, if it is your will. When it ceased to, to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. For what I am, I, for what am I but the master's instrument? It would take some time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. <coughs> what does it? Uh, what does being the master of Cade Nua entail? Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep. The extent of which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make with the necessary arrangements. These may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with additional resources once they are complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen provide you with supplies or ingredients. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If you can raise the keep security in turn, these will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will go in f uh, grow in fame and you must contend with threats to the keep. And then there are other things. Was there anything else, my lord? Uh, hmm. What did you mean when you said this keep was cursed? Meerwald's curse was his own, a watcher's curse, but his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather, far beneath it. At least such has been the conclusion drawn by all who have come to this place, for what spirits still linger in the endless paths oft speak of a master below. Every effort to settle here has failed. From the time of our Adiran uh, colonists onward, beasts rise from the endless paths until the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below this master does not wish to tolerate or does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen from time to time intrepid explorers descend to lay claim to what answers they can, but none return. This is the force which has kept Cade Nua a barren ruin, and robbed me of my hopes. 
the endless paths. That, my friend, is where I must go. Where we must go, if you will go with me. Whatever devils lie beneath, think too of what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks Adrian? Mm -hmm. What are the endless paths? The endless paths of Odnua. That is the name given to the labyrinth beneath the keep. The Earl, he... We were warned by the Glanfathans that this site was cursed, and there is a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Ingwithan named Odnua, who ruled here until his people turned against him. They destroyed his endless paths and filled many of the upper tunnels in with soil and stone. No one living knows how far down the tunnels stretch, and few have ventured where uh, there have returned. There is much talk of riches and treasures. The, the promise of Ingwithan relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers to their deaths, I fear. Who is this master below? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the same man to have been uh, said to have been the architect of the endless paths, the Ingwithan tyrant Odnua. Some claim his spirit endures, or at least has laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine much remains of his work, for the ruins have been here a thousand years or more. But what is left is impressive. The Earl certainly thought so. You may have seen, while below, the hand of the great statue Adnua constructed. Perhaps it is a statue of Adnua himself. But... Am I not the master of Cade Noah? Of course you are. The keep would have no other. But the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It is unfortunate, really, that they are so closely entwined. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the keep from within. I, I know it's not. It's much to take in, but if you would remain, if you would be lord of this place, then I can only advise you to seek out this foe before it destroys you. I have other questions. How do I repair the Barbican? Mayorwald set aside materials for the Barbican, and they are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make further repairs to the keep, we will need coin for supplies and labor. Time to find this queen in the City of Defiance. You must know, this queen you are looking for, Defiance Bay has no queen. The Mequins of the Aider haven't reigned here since the war. The only queen with any power there is Wodaka, and I am told they erected an exquisite temple in her honor there, but I was never able to see it. If you mean to go there, we can get started right away on repairing the Barbican. You need only tell me what you wish to do, and I will make the necessary arrangements. Mayorwold kept a ledger, as it happens, and I'll have taken the liberty of updating it. You could take a look if you wish. Let me see what repairs I can make. Then we'll get under. Uh, then we'll get underway at once. The sewer's voice uh, belies a giddy excitement. Know, my lord, that this is but the first and least of a great many undertakings. The keep supported a great many buildings and service, uh, servants for many years. If you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and these will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding of the defenses will keep your grounds from becoming overrun, as they did under Merwald's keeping. You need not choose all at once. I am pledged to your aid, and so long as you are master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me. Wherever your travels take you, you can make your will known to me, if you but reach out. Oh, uh, but first, of course, the Barbican. Okay. Do to do, we can make upgrades, take time, blah de blah de blah. You notice that it took us time to travel from one location to the next. That's where this really comes in. That and the fatigue on the characters. Okay, so um Party management, which is actually kinda neat. Uh we are going to get a, a couple of uh extra heroes that are just sort of nameless uh, red shirts that will uh have for later. Uh, let's take a look here. Barracks to recruit hirelings. Uh, defend your stronghold from collateral damage. There's that. <coughs> no events currently pending. Sometimes you'll get things that you need to resolve. 
and those also take time to uh, uh, they have time limits and they also take time to resolve and nothing new to report okay we will definitely purchase the Eastern Barbican doop doop boop boop completed there we go now I wonder has this not moved in okay Mm -hmm. Never far from the Queen. It is good to see you here. I can feel a change in the air already. There is much to do. Is there anything I can do to help? What is the state of the keep? Ah, where to begin? Let's see here. Okay. Uh, started and completed. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. General goods requires main keep. That I think is the first thing we will do, and we do have more than enough for that. So let's go ahead. Act. Whoop, but, but other upgrades. No, we want to be able to buy um, supplies here. So we are going to do that first. Actually, wait a second. I wonder... Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, you can only do one at a time. And you notice we have a couple of... Um, uh, a couple of different stats here. One is for prestige and one is for security. Your security ideally should match, the match or exceed the prestige. Uh, ideally exceed it, but uh, matching it will also suffice. Okay. Oh, uh, right. So what I was going to do is I was actually going to travel to a different location, back to Gilded Vale to pick up some supplies and also sleep. But first, let's talk with Kana, because he does want to talk with us. I confess, I was hoping our meeting with Meerwald would go a little differently. But then, you have gained an entire keep. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. I wish I could have gotten through to him. He was far gone, but don't worry. The past is is there that we might learn from it. I'm sure we'll find more answers in Defiance Bay. It will give you a base from which to go searching at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. It should indeed. And yeah. that is actually going to be our next thing. So. Uh, I will be giving you a little bit of spoilers because I don't want you guys to either, you know, hope that I just push on to the main story or actually pursue the quest. There are a total of uh, a ton of floors to actually get through. Um, I think it's, oof, let's see here. Let me actually just get this going. I think there are a total of like 13 or 14 floors, maybe a little bit more. And they get tough. On my uh, first playthrough, I actually thought that I had to handle that first. Or I, I you know, I was com the completionist, in, uh, completionist in, to, in me decided that I was going to uh, get that taken care of. Um, unfortunately... I ended up getting far out of my depth, and when I returned to the rest of the game after I decided, okay, you know, enough's enough. I'm just gonna go with the flow here. Um, I was overly powered for the basically the rest of the game. It was it was ridiculous. It was awesome, and but I don't think I'm gonna do that this time. I will go far enough to get Kana's thing, and I think every once in a while I'll pop back to do a few levels in the labyrinth and come back and uh, do a couple of missions outside and so on because holy moly <laughs> I did all of the stuff I've learned about tactically uh, managing battles I learned in the endless paths like how to properly scout out and cheese the enemy and all of that stuff okay hey, first I'm well met. the room certainly common room rest okay and Welcome. now, uh, supplies. 
definitely. Accept. Trade. Okay. Now we should go back. And get back to Caden Nua. And we are going to start uh, tinkering around in the endless paths. Because why the heck not? <laughs> okay, back to Caden Nua. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's actually see how much time we have on the old ticker. Uh, I think we'll have enough uh, time to at least poke our heads in. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's speed time up a little. I'm actually feeling really good about this uh, episode as far as commentary. I, th I really have noticed a big change from my first few episodes till now. Uh, and unfortunately, my Tyranny videos and Pillars of Eternity videos have also been getting not as much attention, so I don't know if I'll keep them on uh, as active of a slot as I have been. So uh, what I will do is likely once I finish Tooth and Tail, I'll keep Tyranny on a uh, the Tyranny Tuesday slot, and I will also uh, probably move Pillars of Eternity onto a weekly slot as well. Maybe um, maybe a little, little bit more often, but I think I might move to a couple of other faster-paced games. Uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, uh, of time used to um, how should I say experiment and see what I can do to uh, gain. A little bit more attention for my channel because ideally you know I'd like to reach out to more people okay it looks like we're taking care of everything over here let's, let's hmm hmm well I don't know exactly what's over there but I do know the next place to go is over here here we are. To think we are so close. Beneath our very feet lie the endless paths built by Ard Nua, the great Anguithan king. Well, up here this is all Adirin, of course. But should we descend far enough, we will find some real history. <laughs> real history is a little bit of a misnomer there. To uh that great king's tomb would be a dream. But it is one of his servants I am after. Gabranos. A powerful mage, and a dedicated scholar, a keeper of lore, just as I mean to be. He was in possession of the Tanvi Oratoa, or whatever form of it preceded the one we know. I've seen it in ruins, alongside Gabranos' name. Scraps of the same symbols and verses we know in Rawatai. He must have held the words in high regard. Or perhaps he was even the author. Hmm. You sound impressed by this, Cabranos. They say he held power over the elements. <coughs> but I'm more interested in his writing. He was a prolific author. I haven't been able to translate everything, but I've seen enough to know that he traveled far and wide. If only we could have met him. What wisdom we he could have he could share. But we can follow his example and strive to learn from those around us, improve upon it. Hmm, he does sound impressive. It'll seem arrogant now that I've sung his praises, but reading that text, it felt like I was looking through a mirror, at least er, at some past version of myself. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? In any case, I'm no master of the elements. Uh, why does this book matter so much? Rao Tai faces troubled times. Once we were a unified people, but that's changing. And the Tamvi Oratoa is at the heart of that. There are those who would say that we haven't held it to its instruction, that, we ha that we've allowed ourselves to grow weak and polluted our traditions by welcoming foreigners, rather than laying claim to the lands around us, that we must hold those traditions if we are to... Er, that we must hold those traditions if we are to make ourselves a nation to be feared. My brothers would have it so. But we don't need to isolate ourselves to make Rautai great. I know there's more to the chant, but it wasn't created out of sand and water a thousand years ago. 
but uh, brought to Rautai by the Ingwithans, by a people that knew the value of alliances and shared their knowledge with us, and with that knowledge we made Rautai what it is today. If I can find the original, I can prove it. They'll know that the chant is far older than we believed, that the Ingwithans favored peace and trade of knowledge. If we follow their footsteps, we can make a kingdom just as grand and as lasting as theirs. This has a lot of commentary with, uh, you know, current events. <clears throat> I, I actually work in the uh, um, academic world and everything, and in this regard, I feel a lot of kinship with Kana. One of the best things about the academic world is the exchange of not only ideas, but also of people and experiences. Uh, but when I also, sorry, uh, a side note, when I went to, uh, when I was studying for my degree, I was a historian, and unfortunately, uh, you can't ever have a complete history of absolutely everything necessary that you need to know in order to know something. So you do kind of have to connect the dots in certain ways. Just be ready to change it if new evidence comes up, like what he's looking for. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Averting conflict is a noble ambition. A lofty one, I know. I'm glad you feel the same. I feel it's uh, it's the better course for Rautai. We're a people of many races, and we've always stood together. I feel we are destined for greatness. Well, let's start if looking then. my sources are correct, Gabranos will have brought the text with him. It will probably be within a library. Or a tomb, perhaps. It tends to be one of the two. Hmm. Let's be off. And with that, I think we're actually going to call it an end of the episode. If you've enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button or give me some feedback if you want. Of course, uh, subscribing to the channel is also welcome if you enjoy my other work. As always, it's great to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope you'll come back next time and pull up a chair for some more Pillars of Eternity. Alrighty, you take care now. Bye.